So there you have it, the four semi-finalists. Liverpool, of course, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid and Roma. Uh, one from Spain, one from England, one from Germany and one from Italy. That has never before happened uh, in the Champions League. Uh, it did happen in the European Cup. And the last time that happened, you're going to love this, Stephen, mm -hmm. was 1981, which was won by... Liverpool, they beat Bayern Munich in the semi-finals and then beat Real Madrid, Alan Kennedy's goal, of course, in the final. So the omens are there. Yep. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'll all be ruined tomorrow when they draw Roma. When they draw Roma tomorrow. He says he's having it. He's three. I know. He's having a go at you. Yeah, he is. You'll get your revenge at some point, in, maybe, in the future. Yeah. Down the line. So where do you see it now? Who's favourite? Real Madrid, the bookie's favourite, I think. Yeah, I, I oh, still put... Real Madrid favourites. I think I, I can't see him playing as badly as they did tonight. They've played badly all season, um, really. In the league, league they've, they've, except yeah. in probably Juve away and maybe the round before. But in the group stage, they weren't particularly good. Yeah, they weren't, they've not been very good in La Liga all season. Are we thinking they're better than they are now? I just think they they, they know how to get it done in this tournament. That's they've true. been to finals, m multiple finals. They've won the last two Champions League. This is history in the making if they win it a third yeah. time. So. Uh, They've got that desire and they've got the players, the match winners yeah. to do it and the experience, which yeah. is key. It's open, isn't it, really? It's wide open. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with Rio to a certain extent because I think Madrid, when they're switched on and the mentality's bang at it and they've got the strongest 11 out with Ramos in, they're probably the, the favourites and rightly so. But The polls re kind of reflects where we are, doesn't it? The, the Madrid marginally favourites over possibly Liverpool 39%. Mm. Uh, Bayern Munich, 13%, surprisingly low. And Roma, uh, for obvious reasons, down at the bottom after their extraordinary comeback. What do you think, Michael? I think that everyone will want to draw Roma, um, for starters. I think they're the, certainly the weakest team in it. Real Madrid have to still be favourites, um, but I think nobody will want Liverpool. And mm. if Liverpool can get the second leg at Anfield, mm. even more in a, of an advantage. Uh, I think Liverpool will be sitting there watching that today and they'll be sitting... We'll take anyone. I think that's how confident they'll be after beating Manchester City 5-1 over two legs. Yeah. I think they've got the players in attacking areas to hurt every single one of them teams. Does the fact that they've not really been in the mix for a few years, that, that lack of experience possibly of this particular competition might work against them? If, if they meet Madrid. Or um, Bayern, possibly. Um, I think Bayern look at slightly... I shouldn't say it. I, th right? I think in terms of experience, though, what, you, what you're talking about, mm -hmm. I think Madrid are high level yeah. in terms of experience and know-how, especially in the final. Um, but I, th I think now Liverpool's players and the manager must be super confident that they can go all the way. They must be. I think it's more the style of play that, that suits this knockout football for Liverpool. And I think when we're looking... and We often use the, the word inexperience for, for Manchester City, mm. for Paris Saint-Germain. Maybe it's just the way they play. They're very expansive types of teams. And I think certain teams like... You know, Real Madrid, they know there's, even though there's flair, there's a know how, there's a yeah. gritty determination Get to it win games, line. exactly. And I just think that Liverpool play in a certain way that's, that even though it's an attacking way, it's, it's not gung ho, it's not so expansive, it's more, you know, hunting packs and then explode into mm. life. And I think the way they play gives them more of a, a chance than, than yeah, anything else. And I think them three teams there will be troubled by speed and pace. And that's exactly how Liverpool play, especially at the last two legs games against Manchester City. They found a way of playing. Mm. They can sit back and be tight. And they and were then tested fire there, there in that second leg in, in terms of the, the fact that City scored so early. I mm. mean, that was a test of their character, wasn't it? And personality. I mean, I know they got away with it be, just before I have time. With it. Yeah, they got like, a bit oh. of luck. But you need that, in a, you need that to, mm. to, to triumph. Uh, uh, yeah, you do, for sure. And... What impressed me about Liverpool yesterday was, was the second half, the response. Um, Jürgen's team took whatever he said to them, certainly galvanised them and improved them. They weren't close enough first yeah. half. Yeah. They got dominated, but second half, they were a different team. Mm. You also need firepower. You need someone to stick it in the, in the back of the net. They've all got them, haven't they? You've got, the, you've got Dzeko at Roma, you've got Lewandowski at Bayern Munich, we've got, you've got Salah and Firmino, who both scored loads uh, in the Champions League this season. Not sure who Real Madrid have got, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, him, look, with 15 goals this season, yeah. which is um, crazy. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's, it, is, it is unbelievable. The, the stats that Ronaldo's coming out of at the moment, 15 goals in, in one Champions League season and counting is phenomenal. Mm. But as we saw there, Liverpool haven't got just the one person to worry about. They've got three in that top goal scorer mm. chance there and that makes them a real life threat. Mm. Certainly does. Uh, we can go back to the